kilometres. Ali Wollaston, the New Zealand champion, she comes up around the outside to get on to the Liva Lula Jaco lead out train. Sophie Edwards, the Oceania champion, riding for ARA, Skip Capital. She's also put herself up in the mix. Very good track rider, Commonwealth Games Team Pursuit champion. She can sprint. It's the Aussie team that's leading the way. Inside one and a half kilometres almost now. And Amber Pate it is that's driving the train. It's the Jayco train coming up towards the final corner. It's really hard at this point of the race to be able to make any attacks or moves because they're moving so quickly. Efforts of all the riders, all a little tight squeeze there for Georgia Baker. And they should be able to see the finish line now out in the distance. Lots of ducking and weaving. Ruby Roseman Gannon, the national champion, in third position. Georgia Baker in behind her. Alex Manley is just in front of Ruby. Look over the shoulder there from Alex Manley. And we're inside 500 metres to go. Manley leads the way. She's taking the Jaco Alula team towards the finish line. Can they finish it off, though, as they come to 300 metres to go? Now it's Roseman Gannon that goes over the top. Georgie, Georgia, How uh, Georgia Baker is the rider that they're going to be working for. Ali Wollaston, the New Zealand national champion, is still there as well. Roseman Gannon out of the saddle, and it's Baker that comes through. It's a slow sprint as Ali Wollaston, the New Zealand champion in the white colours. She comes over the top, and it's the Kiwi that takes the crown. Stage one to Ali Wollaston from AG Insurance. Well, she won the Classic last year, and I said she could be the dark horse here. She's got a great turn of speed, and look at that. Out of the saddle, all the way up that slight inhill, uphill climb. Georgia Baker in the seat, driving that big gear. Just more power comes when you're standing up on those pedals. You can reef through the handlebars and the win to the young Kiwi from AG Insurance. What a difficult finish that was. All uphill, and we saw that by Georgia Baker in the saddle at the end. She was cooked before she got to the last 200 metres. That was tough, and well, Ali Wollaston been, was the toughest. She's been busy, hasn't she, leading out Ruby Rose McGannon in the zip track intermediate sprint. So she's spent energy through this stage, and energy conservation is really critical when it comes to a sprint. We have not seen Ali Wollaston at all until it was required at the finish, 150 metres to go. A fantastic effort there. New Zealand champion, it's so nice to win in the national champion's jersey. She will be changing that, though, for the overall Oka leader's jersey. So we have a new stage winner and a new leader of the Santos Tour Down Under, Ali Wollaston from New Zealand. And the AG Insurance team, what a fantastic performance. We were talking about Sarah Gigante a lot because of the overall classification. But Wollaston, certainly one of the favourites for the stage and proving it that right. Well, let's go down to Gracie, who is going to be talking to uh, the New Zealand national champion and the winner of stage one. Ali, Ali Wollaston from AG Insurance. You are stage one winner of the Women's Tour Down Under and you get to wear the Oka jersey. Tell me your emotions. Um, yeah, I'm really overwhelmed, actually. Um, it's my first World Tour win, um, so... Yeah, I'm just really proud. The girls rode amazing today and yeah, I can't thank them enough for the work they did today. It looked like a chaotic finale, especially that last 10k. Can you talk me through what was happening in the peloton? Um, yeah, I'm not usually super confident in the bunch, so I struggled quite a lot, but these girls looked after me so well. We had a plan to just stick on the right-hand side and just commit to the finish and we did exactly that and yeah, we couldn't have done it any better. You've got some big ambitions now with the team for the rest of the tour as well. Can you talk us through what this does for the motivation for the team? Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm just grabbing my breath. Um, yeah, we've got a pretty big powerhouse of a team this week. Um, Sarah is our uh, po little pocket rocket, so we'll be targeting Sunday with her. But, yeah, I suppose for tomorrow we just try and hold on to the jersey as long as possible and see what happens. Congratulations, fantastic win today, enjoy it. Cool, thank you. I'll grab my breath now. <laughs> well, doesn't she look happy, and rightfully so. What a great performance from the entire team to set her up, but then she has to finish it off, and she had the power in a difficult uphill sprint. And she did it well. She used her team well, but when she ran out of teammates, she jumped on the wheel of Georgia Baker once we saw that change of direction with Ruby Rose McGannon. Look at the elation. And it's not just her success and joy. You saw her and her teammates afterwards as well. As well. It's a shared success and uh, a well-deserved win there.
Sophia Bertozzolo from UAE might have